Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Eileen. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I'm going to be doing a video on how to distinguish between good quality jade and jade that is not of such a good quality or fake jade. I initially didn't have the courage to do this video but after having watched a few videos especially those done by western jewelers who showcase their jade selection I had a little bit more encouragement to do so I just want to put a disclaimer out there I am not a jade expert I am a jade lover and I have been collecting jade for decades now. I'm also a personal shopper for most of my clientele who are really, really coming from the wealthy and also very affluent women in my society. Ever since I ran my boutique, I have been buying and selling jewelry, most especially uh, dealing with pearls as well as jade. So I've had the good fortune of meeting up with many jewelry suppliers and learning a lot from them. So whatever that I share in this video is for sharing purposes and so that you will be able to distinguish between a good quality jade and one that is not of such a good quality. Ever since the auction that Sotheby's handled uh, with the imperial jade that had belonged to the Qianlong Emperor from the Qing Dynasty, that has sparked a lot of interest and I think that is exactly why a lot of Western jewelers who are not specializing in jade is including jade in their collection and it has really really piqued their interest in this piece of gemstone which has been so deeply entrenched into our chinese culture going back thousands of years when we talk about jade there are two main groups under the jade category the jade society has decided to separate the two groups but they both come under the umbrella of the jade family so the most commonly known jade which goes back thousands of years ago which was mined from china is categorized as nephrite jade so that's the jade that you see being worn by our grandmothers or our mothers and that is the most uh, traditional form of jade and then there is the other category of jade which is called the jadeite jade which is the one that i am wearing in the form of a pendant as well as a bangle to the naked eye if you want to distinguish between the nephrite jade and the jadeite jade the nephrite jade i would say is more textured it has a lot of um, nuances of color it is the most traditional form of jade there is and then when it comes to jadeite jade it's showcasing jade more of a translucent quality because there is still a lot of controversy between the divide between nephrite jade and jadeite jade to put it diplomatically the nephrite jade you can say is sort of like the standard traditional white diamond and then the jadeite jade is something like when the introduce the pink diamond or the yellow diamonds which is more of a newer category of jade so to speak because the nephrite jade goes back thousands of years and is the traditional jade that was worn by the chinese emperors um, so for example if you look at the magnificent imperial jade that had belonged to the Qianlong emperor which went for a record-breaking us dollars 19 million that is called the mutton fat jade and that falls under the category of nephrite jade obviously the high value that was realized on that imperial seal is to do with also the provenance of the stone because of the boom in the economy of china there, there is a new wave of millionaires and they are uh, the younger and more affluent chinese are also coming out investing in jade if you were to pinpoint any part of the globe um, in almost any city, if you go to any jewelry store, you are bound to come across diamonds or gold. But I can guarantee you that 
I don't think every city in the world would carry jade. This is ac exactly why the Chinese and the affluent are investing in jade because it is getting more scarce and the value of it will appreciate over time especially the value of very good quality jades so this is why it's very important to be able to distinguish between good quality ones and those that are of not much of a value uh, it doesn't make any sense at all in purchasing a piece of jade that will not have any kind of value to it or is practically worthless or mass produced so let's get on with the categories i'll just run into them and then i'll go through them in depth later on so the seven qualities that you need to look into are number one the color of the jade and then number two the clarity of the jade number three the coolness of the jade number four the carvings on a jade number five the clinking sound number six the carrot or the weight and number seven the coating or the luster of the jade i'm going to go through each of them in depth so that you can have a further understanding of jade if you're enjoying this video please don't forget to like and subscribe so let's get on with number one so when we are talking about the color of the jade it ranges from the white jade or the mutton fat jade as in the pendant that i'm wearing and the bangle that i'm wearing um, you can see that uh, this color is really really quite difficult to get because first of all it's not really as popular as the apple green jade and secondly it's more scarce and then you have the light pink jade like this pendant that i have that is fashioned in the shape of a coin pendant so this is a very very modern sculpture of the coin pendant you can see other more traditional um, sculptures done and then it also goes on to the red color jade you can see the color through the bowl is absolutely exceptional and then you go to the lavender color jade i recently acquired this lavender pendant after searching for decades for the perfect lavender colored jade this is really really beautiful you can see that the color seems almost illuminated from within so you can tell that this is a very very good quality jade you can see that the color is almost alive and then you go to the apple green jade when you're talking about the apple green jade so this is where i'm going to be touching on color based on the nephrite category as well as the jadeite category so under the nephrite category if you see this jade pendant that had belonged to my mom the first one is made up uh, in the shape of a fish you can see the craftsmanship of it absolutely beautifully done the scales of the fish so minute and minuscule very very fine workmanship and craftsmanship and the color is in the traditional apple green color in the traditional nephrite jade category the same goes for the double happiness pendant mounted on gold this is a superb specimen of the fine craftsmanship that is available in hong kong hong kong to me is the best place in the world to get the best workmanship to get the best setting for jade because they have been dealing with jade jewelry for decades so you can find examples of this nephrite jade pendants going for tens of thousands of dollars and being auctioned off by auction houses strictly speaking um chinese do not actually purchase jade that had belonged to someone else does not come through their family so this is exactly why jade is being passed down as an heirloom jewelry another word of caution that i would like to point out is when you see this type of a jade bangle with the details of the gold hinges meaning to say seemingly one piece of jade is being broken up into three or two pieces where you can open up at the hinges stay away never ever buy this sort of a jade bangle 
this is one way where mercenary traders take a single broken jade bangle and try to piece it together by incorporating hinges to make it into what looks like a whole jade bangle so stay away from this this is taboo because it's basically people selling a whole jade bangle that's already been broken basically speaking you are buying a broken jade bangle and that is really really a taboo uh, nobody wants bad luck the jade bangle is supposed to bring you good luck Quality jade uh, signifies that you come from a very noble and socially prominent family. And it shows Cathy Hilton, who is the mom of Paris Hilton, sporting a superb jade specimen carved perfectly matched in the classic apple green color. She looks absolutely gorgeous. She paired it with a very lovely printed blouse in the same shade of green. The Hiltons is one of the families with old money. You can definitely see that they have exquisite taste in jewelry. You can see some examples of the type of similar earrings like what she was wearing you can see that it's not as substantial in size the coloring is not as beautiful and the going price is between us dollars nine to fifteen thousand i can definitely assume that kathy hilton's perfect pair of jade earrings is double the price and above so you can see that it's such a great investment and this is exactly why the new wave of millionaires from china are investing their money in jade and then you it can go right up to the emerald green and even up to the black jade so the range is very very diverse now number two when we're talking about the clarity of the jade so this is only applicable when you are referring to the jada jade because when it comes to nephrite jade they are concentrating more on the color as well as the beautiful carvings on it under the category of clarity this is more uh, when we are looking at jada jade so a good quality jada jade is supposed to be almost translucent so much so that if you put it up against the light you should be able to see your fingers running through them as in the example of the pendant that i'm having so this is where you can tell that it is of a very good quality jade but you have to be extremely careful as well because if you go to any of the websites that is selling jade very very uh, cheaply affordable like us ten dollars and you can see a very translucent jade those are the fake jades there is no way you can find that kind of absolute translucency in a genuine piece of jade because every piece of jade there is has got some kind of um, veins to it and has got some kind of fissures or natural fissures attached to it so you need to be very very careful and this is exactly where when i was mentioning about jewelry stores in the u.s who are specializing in other gemstones such as diamonds or gemstones that you find in uh, western jewelry stores and, and then they, they decide to include some pieces of jade and they're not really specialized in them it takes decades in order to be able to hone your eye for example some of my customers who are very very wealthy and affluent they can actually spot a good quality jade without using any kind of equipment because they are so used to buying high quality jade and then when we come to the carvings when you look at the carvings it applies to both nephrite jade as well as jadeite jade so as in the example of my mom's pendant that is a nephrite jade with carvings and when you look at the jadeite jade that i'm wearing this is also having carvings on it there is two schools of thoughts on this so there are there is one group that is saying that jade should not be carved it should be sold just as a carboshan and there is another school of thought that's, that says that you know that is part of and parcel of outstanding pieces of jade to have this kind of aesthetics with carvings on it because that was the traditional form of jade that has always been worn by the emperors through the ages in the past jade was only worn by the emperor and the imperial royal family as well as the nobility 
and any kind of jade with the dragon motif was only confined to the emperor not even the nobility is allowed to have the dragon motif whether in the form of a clothing or in the form of a jewelry you have to be very careful as well because there is a lot of nephrite category of jade with wonderful carvings on it but you can see that it's color treat there are so many fake jades out there with a lot of carvings and with a lot of very very vibrant colors almost too vibrant to look real so you have to be very very careful extremely careful and also when jade comes with coloring the coloring can be faked and previously we can check whether the jade is treated with color by using uv rays but apparently i heard that jade scammers are so sophisticated nowadays that they are able to use dye that will be undetected so that is exactly why i said it takes years to hone your skill and your eye and then when we come to the coolness of the jade it has always been said that jade brings prosperity as well as good health so this is not some hocus pocus uh, belief that they plucked out of the air if you look at uh, the density of the jade it is so dense that when you want to distinguish between a genuine piece of jade and one that is fake it's through the coolness of the jade a good quality jade and a genuine piece of jade should feel cool to the touch it is a very well known fact that if you are in a cool and calm collected state of mind you will neutralize your heartbeat as well as neutralize your blood pressure and this is exactly where the role of the jade comes into play because it calms you down whenever you put it on and the best thing about jade is the longer that you put it on you can see that it gets more beautiful and the color of it will be more vibrant as well and then the carat weight of the piece of jade as well so if you look at two pieces of jade of the same size and the good quality jade will actually weigh more than the one that is of a poorer quality so the weight of the jade comes into consideration as well it should feel very weighty in your hand and the last one is the coating or the luster of the jade so when you look at any kind of jade um, whether you're looking at a nephrite jade or the jadeite jade but more in particular with the jadeite jade you will see that there is some sort of a luster to it or like a coating to it it looks like some gelatinous coating or it looks as if water is flowing through the surface of the jade and uh, that is what makes people fall in love with jade even when you are referring to the traditional nephrite jade there is a luster to it and it's very very arresting and it takes decades sometimes to be able to amass a collection for ex example the pendant that i'm wearing it took me decades in order to find the right mutton fat jade it takes time it takes a lot of patience and then the right piece will come to you this is such an indelible part of our chinese culture and if you think about the process process of jade um, i don't think any other gemstone in this world has got some carvings on it if you think about the other more commonly known gemstones they are all just faceted or carboshan and that's about it it's like michelangelo crafting on a piece of marble statue but downsized into such a minuscule piece that you can wear so this is exactly where um, again the saying that gold is costly but jade is priceless it's really priceless it is like a portable wealth that you're wearing and it is like a masterpiece that you're wearing so whenever you come across a beautiful piece of jade you really will be able to tell you cannot fake it if you want to sell fake jade you are doing yourself this service as well because it is going to bring uh, a lot of backlash on you is going to give you bad luck when you are dealing with jade it is such a noble piece of gemstone as they say if you fall in love with a piece of jade you become besotted for life you 
will be drawn in because it, it is totally different from any other gemstones in the world. It was worn by the Empress of China. Its heritage runs back thousands of years. It's probably one of the oldest gemstones in the history of the world. So thank you so much for staying with me till the end. If you would like to know more about jade jewelry, I've done a few other videos. I'll be linking them towards the end. Feel free to browse through them. If you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I hope to see you again. Goodbye.